Okay, great. Um, welcome to the session. As Anna has explained, it's a bit impromptu, but I'm very happy to do it. Um, so we're looking at marketing an incubator, your marketing, your services, and also stakeholder engagement and management. Um, I'm just going to start off by giving a very small overview, and then I expect this to be a very interactive um, conversation. I will not do an intro again to what I am or what I do. Um, I did that on Monday. So um, the things that I want us to focus on today is getting to know your customers, segmenting your market, increasing your influence in, the, in your chosen market, um, promotion of your incubator, and then identifying what's working and how to iterate. I hope that works for everyone. So basically, what is marketing? Or how do we as incubators these days ensure that the relevant person or the relevant stakeholder gets to know that we exist and also ensuring that we are marketing to the right person. So marketing is not selling a product. Marketing is first of all, you understanding who your customer is. Before you even open your doors as an incubator, you need to know who your customer is. And that is how you design your marketing plan, how people get to know you. And so for us at Hive Collab, part of the things that have helped us create a brand where if anyone is coming from any country in the world and they're coming to Uganda and they're looking for incubators, Hive Collab will definitely be the first thing that they talk about. And that has been a relationship or a brand that has been curated and made over a period of time. And how we've done it has been very um, focusing on the global trends, uh, going away from the original ways of marketing, uh, using paper, uh, print and paper, uh, that is brochures, um, the usual way we used to do it, market surveys and stuff like that, and moving on to the bandwagon that is social media. The biggest and cheapest way for you to market your incubator is using social media. Uh, so that is LinkedIn, we're talking about Facebook, but at the end of the day, it starts with you understanding who your customer is and where they are at. So most of our customers today are on LinkedIn, they're on social media, uh, they're on, on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're on Google+. So getting into that space. Imagine you're a new incubator, no one knows you, and so many exist. Uh, there's no country right now in Africa that may not have an incubator. I think every country has one. So you're not going to enter into this market and be the only one. There are over 100, I think, and 20 incubators all over Africa. So how do you get in there and get to be the incubator that everyone talks about? That if your focus is early stage startups, when they are looking for where to go, you become that place without spending an arm and a leg. So social media creates a way for you, but it needs to be very, um, it needs to be very well thought out. It's not just you getting on there, creating your account, and voila, people will start coming to you. So when you know who your target is, start following them. And mapping out your stakeholder, um, your stakeholders is very important before you do this. So for us, we mapped out who are our stakeholders. Of course, the people who fund us are our stakeholders. We want them to know that we exist. So early on, you're going to know who is funding who in the space and you're going to start following them, even when they don't know you. And you're going to CC them in your tweets. As you do stuff, you're going to CC them. If you need, uh, if one of your stakeholders is government, as it should, you're going to CC them in everything that you do. If you go on Facebook, you're going to copy them. If you go on Twitter, you're going to copy them. If you're marketing to university students or young professionals, is there a group that young professionals have on social media? you're going to make sure that you're in that space, that they know that you exist in that particular space. Is there um, a place that people hang out at? Let's say a physical space that uh, most people that would be your clients uh, hang out at. You're going to get into that space. You're going to ensure that you're in people's faces, not in a way that irritates, but in a way that people get to know about your services, but also it needs to be backed up by actual value proposition. So. You're not just going to say, oh, we are the leading incubator when everyone knows you're not. You're going to be very truthful in your marketing because you want to portray that we are a genuine uh, brand. We are a brand that delivers on what we say we actually do. And then you will start market. It will start marketing itself for you. So understand who your stakeholders are and then target or segment it. 
every marketing um, plan that you make should be targeted to a particular um, group that you are targeting to reach out to. So do not just do general tools, and that is the same thing that you send every single person. If you're trying to get into the corporate, uh, the private sector of your um, of your market, how are you going to reach out to them? It's going to be different from the way you reach out to the actual startups that are going to be incubated in your incubator. Uh, it's going to be different from the way you reach out to your donors, your funders, or your uh, investors. So create a plan for each and every target market and create a message that would sell to them. And then do not forget to involve them in everything that you actually do. Search for people on Twitter, on LinkedIn and Facebook, relevant people, relevant groups, comments and uh, companies. And then read their tweets, retweet them, check their blogs. If there is something that you've liked, you can reblog it or retweet it basically to relevant people sure everything that you are putting out as an incubator is consistent with the message that you want to put out. I've seen lots of um, people trying to market their incubators and today it is something else, the other day it's something else, and you fail to figure out exactly what these guys are about. If you want to create a brand, let people know you that these guys are good at this. So you're going to create your brand around that so that your messaging to every single one is consistent. It's just delivered in a different, um, in a different way. Join relevant groups on all these uh, uh, social media platforms that I'm talking about, and then start discussions. Create a, um, um, a vibrant discussion on all those other groups. WhatsApp is a very um, common place for people to start conversations get into those professional groups and start groups you're creating a place where if people in your country are looking for an incubator the first thing that comes to their mind is your hub so you need to be everywhere that people are look for the people who um influencers on twitter in your country where your incubator is or in your city and dm them make sure they know about you and they are going to retweet you create friendships with them create friendships with media media is very very important and most of us have a misconception that we have to pay media to be in the newspapers. We have to pay uh, for them to retweet us. Just create relationships. That is stakeholder engagement and management. Who are your stakeholders? Media is very important. Who are the people that are writing about entrepreneurship within the space that you're trying to get into or the space that you're already at if you're already an existing incubator? Who is always writing about the startups in the country, the incubators? Make them your friend so they will do and see um, if they have an entrepreneurship uh, section within that particular newspaper, you're not going to have to pay. Just give them a very good story for them to write about. If you have um, a startup within your incubator that is doing really well and you believe in it, ask them to write a small story. And as an incubator, when you go to this media house, you're going to tell them there's this really cool young person that we are trying to support. So write on their success. If there's someone you supported and they're successful, write on their success. If you have um, a, um, an incubatee who has been really successful, they've gone through your incubator and they've left, write on their success. Ask them to add you on their website. Ask them to, whenever they they are talking about you, that is if you actually give them value. Ask them to say, Hive Collab supported us when um, we were a very young startup, when we were trying to start out. So you're creating a brand that everyone is going to think about and remember. When they see that success of that startup, they will always try, um, they will always tie it to you. So find cheap ways of um, marketing your incubator in a way that um, comment, um, sends the exact message that you're trying to send out. And then um, before I open up the discussion, one last thing that I would like to talk about is, of course, in marketing, people are your most important um, collateral or your most important resource. Do not just have someone who does your marketing as an incubator. Let everyone within your incubator or within your team be a marketing person. Um, I've met organizations where you find a person, they have a marketing person, and it's only the marketing person that knows all the programs that the company is doing. Or you just reach out to your, um, a person who may be facilitates training in your incubator. Do they, do they have your mission, your vision, your core values at the top of their mind? Do they have all the projects that you're doing? So that if they were maybe somewhere at an event and someone is asking them, oh, tell me about what you guys do. 
they're not scanning around for information. They have it at the top of their heads. They have it at the, their fingertips. This is what we do. This is who we are. This is where we're going. So they know where the, camp, uh, the incubator is right now, where it's going in the next six months, where it's going in the next one year, where its 10-year vision is, so that everyone in your organization is on the same page with what you guys are actually doing. It's not a one person's job within that organization. And then your communication should also be consistent. It should be the same. It shouldn't font, things like, as simple as fonts that we use, uh, the color of the text, simple things that actually matter. So for me, what uh, my last words would be before we get into the discussion would be create standard documents for your organization. Even if it's emailing, how do we send out emails? What, how, do, what, how do we communicate everything that we're trying to communicate? Have templates for every single thing. If you're doing an event, what, what must, must have does, uh, should that promotion, maybe it's a, um, a Facebook uh, bag that you're trying to do, or a, a brochure that you're trying to do, what are those things that everyone in your organization knows? If it doesn't look like this, or if it doesn't have X, X, and X, then it's not something that we are going to do. Uh, with that, I would like to open this up for us to just discuss and share um, on what we believe should be stakeholder engagement and marketing, but also ask questions. I'm very open to um, supporting answering that.